Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. the way it will be Needed a better contact. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. He will be. Looks to clip it forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. He's left his man. A really good feat. Delivers the ball. He's dealt with that well. And Didi tries to get it forward quickly. Questions were asked. He's given the answers. Forward it goes. Nil nil still, and little doubt about which manager will be the happier right now. The defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Moses. The ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Now it's Iwobi. And he's made certain that won't get through. He's through. Back to the keeper and try something new. Nigeria going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Ndidi aimed long and direct over to the left. And it's Iwobi. It's easy to guess who'll be the happier manager right now. Absolutely, Peter. And I think due to the strength of the opposition, they had to work on a defensive game plan and and then do the difficult part in executing it, and so far, they've been exemplary. Moses delivers, and he just whacks it away. And Didi gets it back. Moses.
and it's half time here so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means what have we learned from the first 45 minutes well they've never really been threatened in the first half i think it's been a magnificent team effort the work rate has been superb very very organized and after 45 minutes it is still goalless a change perhaps after half time And we're off again. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. one in boots it to safety little accusatory stare there tells the whole story ah quality deserted them when they really needed it who's ball who's going to get there been one straight back and helps available out wide he's come through and he's had a quick look inside shoots really well taken goal and that is the goal we've all been yearning for First touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. Nigeria take the lead, 1-0. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Just about up to the hour now. Your impressions so far, Jim? Well, the stats are pretty telling here. It's hard to argue with the scoreline when you carry so little threat. Hit long and direct. Now it's Moses. Well, the whistle's gone. What's he given? Well, the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. I don't need to tell you he got underneath it and there's only one place it can go. We've played it short. Short shoots! Very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And it's been taken short. Looks to thread it through. Looks to play him in. Uh, a minor communications breakdown.
He's got away. That is terrific skill. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. been intercepted and that will come to nothing gets it upfield and he's going long last ditch defending but that'll do there's some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. There's the cross. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Going through. He's had a go! He scores! Should do it! Within sight of the finish line! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. Now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Nigeria could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? It'll be a throw in. It's an out wide now. Fires it in low. Gets good distance on it. forward quickly done very well to intervene and that's it no joy for the players nor indeed for the loyal fans it has ended in defeat a thoroughly disappointing outcome what are your thoughts on today's game then Jim inevitable in terms of the result but that doesn't tell an accurate tale this was much closer than it should have been they really dug deep so that's it for today thank you Jim and good afternoon all.